your girl Shella from Shella and Frank Taught Life and Marriage and also Promo SDK Reality TV and Promo SDK Shella Creations Way Cooking Show and Promo SDK ASMR, a reaction to the ASMR. Yes, all four of those channels, you guys. So I'm here to give you a little bit of information about what I've been doing for my lock journey. And I know some of these things I've probably already discussed with you guys and some I haven't. Some things I'm starting to do a little different and new to my hair. And I want you guys to know and be a part of it. And share. Please share. So, where do I start first? My hair. Right now, I have I have my little um, satin cap on. I have my flexi rods in my hair. And I'm going to take my flexi rods out of my hair. I'm going to go ahead and let's move these around a little bit so y'all can see a little bit of... Wah, wah. And I'll get to you about all these different things that, and different changes I've been going through. The changes I've been going through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, so let me bring y'all a little closer, okay? All right, now that I got y'all a little closer to me, let's get into getting these uh, flexi rods on my hair. Now, um, last night I, w I put a concoction on my hair, which is... Uh, this and water. Y'all see this? I put a little bit of this and water. And all I did was just put about a um, um, teaspoonful of this. And this is Pantene Pro B Flexible Waves and Curls Gel. Define curls and control frizzy. I put about a teaspoon of this in my hand. And then maybe I, I washed my hand with some water and did this. And just went through my through my hair. I didn't spray anything on my hair. I didn't spray any additional water. That's all I did was the water that was in my hand and about a teaspoon of this gel right here. And then, cause I, I wanted something to be a little moisturizing my hair when I braid it and then roll it up. Cause that's what I did. I braided, I took some strands of hair and I braided it up and then I rolled it up with the flexi rods. See that? All right. And I, I always try to, before I braid my hair, I always try to, um, I braid it and then when I get to the very end, like maybe about an inch before I get to the very end, I twist so it's easier for me to take out, you guys. Uh, only time I put the rubber bands on the ends of my hair is when I'm braiding and banding, getting it washed. But when I'm just rolling it up, all I do is just, um, Braid the ends and then twist them at the uh, thing. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to show y'all pretty much my whole routine from when I start in the morning taking these out my hair. Um, now, I'll do this like every maybe two or three days because the curls actually last. Um, at least two or three days and then after about the third day you see them drop and I really love them when they drop too so sometimes we're like I'm not gonna roll my hair because I just want them to hang and drop a little bit you know so that's I do that too all right so the only part of my hair that I roll a particular type of way is my front everything else is just it just rolled under but my front I roll them over and I'll show you why when I get all these out of my hair okay. I'll get all the backs out first Hope everybody having a beautiful, blessed day. And I hope y'all don't mind me sharing my journey. I hope y'all don't. I hope y'all like my um, hair journey. I know I get a couple of people that comment. Um, Vicky from Vicky's World. She comments a lot about my, my hair, my journey. I thank you, Vicky. And um, y'all go check her out, her channel. You know, we want to support 
but when people support you, you want to also support them too, right? So she's one of the ones that support me on my hair journey. And let me let me just say this. <clears throat> let me just say this, you guys. I've washed my hair a couple times since by myself on my own. And um, I must say, <laughs> um, I'm getting the hang of it. I do. Oh, I didn't tell y'all this. This was my main reason why I got online. All right, let me tell y'all this. Let me tell y'all this, okay? I combined. Yes, I could buy some of my locks. Uh, there was um, there was actually one that looked like it was, it like it was like a part of an edge or whatever, but it was still like like the edge like down this way, and I'm like, huh, I I've been watching so many videos and and it's like if you see a thinning lock that maybe needs a little TLC, just combine them. Y'all look at my hair. See that little? See that length? Y'all just combined them. So, um, I did. I, I did the binding. I did. <laughs> and when my daughter came home this past weekend, I showed her. And she said, Mom, you did good. She said, it's going to grow that way. So, what happened was, <clears throat> excuse me. What happened was, um, I always, I showed y'all in a previous video how I tag my hair when I see something I wanted to question my daughter about. Um, you know, with her being in the police academy, I don't see her every day. I only see her when she come home on the weekends. Uh oh, what was this? Ooh, 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 ooh. What did you do? What did I just do? Hold on, y'all. What did I just do? What did I just do? Okay, where we, where we going? What we got going on? What we got going on here? What we got going on? What we got going on, we got going on here? What we got going on? What we got going on, girl? You better come on with it now, girl. You better come on with it. <laughs> All right. That's better. That's better. She giving it to us now, y'all. She giving it to us. First, she was a little fussy. She was a little fussy now. She was a little fussy. So, anyway, I showed my daughter uh, what I had done, and she was like, Mom, she said, you did good. I said, okay. And then I showed her the other one, and I, I still have them uh, rubber banded off at the root. Uh, because I had wanted her to see them and I didn't want them to, you know, come loose. But um, when she went to pull them, it's like they was already kind of, kind of, um, kind of, kind of um, doing this thing is locking together. So I'm like, okay, since the girl know what she's doing a little bit. Now, y'all know I, my daughter does my interlocking and I ain't even tempting that, y'all, because I'm, it's a chore just to, you know, do these braids <laughs> like this you know all right my last thing is my last one yay 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 my last one and if y'all see how i roll these up right here i roll them this way so like that now i got a couple of things i'm coming with you guys today about one was me combining my locks so there was um two over here that i combined together and then another two that I combined over here and I'm gonna see if I can find them so I can show you guys I I need to order some colored rubber bands so that I can stick a stand out more right now I got these black rubber bands and honey honey I can't see them I have to feel through my hair to try and find them but I can't see them so um that's one thing I wanted to sh uh, tell you all about the combining of my locks um, there's also a concoction that I made up that I haven't started using yet, but I am. I'm going to start using it. And let me go ahead and show y'all this. Now, I told y'all guys that I use this right here uh, with just a, a little bit of water um, and about a teaspoon of this right here. And again, there was enough water to get in my hands and then mix with this right here is what I, and I rubbed all over my hand, um, all over my hair. So what I've done since I've done that, and I get so many compliments that, oh, your hair is so beautiful. I'm like, thank you. Anyway, what I've done, because y'all know what I have been using, and I'm all over the place, y'all, forgive me, was a Loxanity uh, Fresh um, um, Rosewater Peppermint Daily Moisturizing and Refreshing Spray. 
and it's for all dreadlocks and loose hair types, lock sanity. So um, I have ordered me this bottle and then I poured my, that's why I put this band right here so I make sure I know what it is in here. And um, I poured it in here so that I can have my, my sprayer on it. And this is what I've been using since I had my hair, um, my hair um, locks done. This is what I've been using here. So I wanted, and I wanted to order some rose, some just rose water, but the rose water that I was looking for, for some reason, they're not carrying them anymore on Amazon. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna try something different because this right here has um, peppermint, rose water and peppermint. So what I'm gonna do, because you know peppermint has some good benefits. So what I've done here, this is this is the old bottle right here, the lock sanded out that I dumped out. But what I put in here, I use distilled water. Yeah, distilled water. I use about four um, to eight. I think I use about four to eight drops of this 100% uh, pure natural essential oil peppermint. About four to eight drops of this. This is a 12 ounce bottle. Now it said about four um, drops to um, an eight ounce bottle. And since this is a 12 ounce bottle, I went ahead and just added about between four to eight drops. I'm pretty sure is what I put in here. And then I put about, um, about a half a cup, not, not even, a, no, no, I'm sorry, a quarter cup, a quarter cup, a quarter cup of this right here. And so I actually ordered, they got three pack coming. So I ordered three more because that's what I'm going to be using. So I ordered this right here from amazon.com. I put it in here and y'all see, y'all see how this looks? You see that? It looks very light very light and clear so inside here I have my peppermint oil I have my Pantene flexible waves curl gel and I have my distilled water so that's what's in here and this is what I'm gonna use as a refresher now I'm gonna still use my lock sanity uh, rose water peppermint because rose water is good for your hair but until I find me some rose water um, that I want to order that is not the one that I originally wanted I'm gonna put some rose rose water in here, and so it'll be like my own concoction. So we'll let y'all know how that goes. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing on that end to keep my my hair moisturized and to my, to my scalp too, because it refreshes your scalp. Now on wash day, because you know I've been washing my own hair. Now um, what I have done, and I showed you guys this before, was like say like um, you can't you can't uh, wash your hair in, in time or whatever something's going on and you just need to make your hair fresh and 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 be clean this is dry shampoo it refresh and revive your hair without water okay and this works i mean this detox and purifies your hair it, it reminds me so much of when i get done using the um Fresh, um, the I keep saying refresher, but it's the rose water and peppermint uh, deep conditioning two in one shampoo and conditioner. When I use this right here, and my hair feels like it's been stripped, it feels really dry and clean. So when I use this right here, I actually take this um, shampoo right here and I dilute it with water. I dilute it with H two O, you guys. But now I'm gonna dilute it not with just regular water. I'm gonna use it with you dilute it with a little distilled water when I put it on my hair because as you see this right here is it's it's not really that thick because when you look at it it's almost like a mm, what do you want to call it mm, 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 mm. aloe you know the, the the sliminess of an aloe but when you add the water to it it makes it really loose and so that's what I want to I want to do with this right here because that's what I've been doing so this is my second bottle of shampoo y'all and I've been I've been on this journey since um Mother's Day weekend, May, um, between the May 8th and 12th, and I'm just on my second bottle, and look at this, it's not even open, I haven't even used this one yet. I've just finished up my first bottle, so that's how long and good it works. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all a little close-up of my hair. Show y'all a little close-up of my hair. And y'all know I've been battling um, 
turn this little light on over here. That's better. Yeah, I know I have been battling my grays. I'm gonna tell y'all what I've been doing about my grays. All right. Let me just put y'all back over here. Now, for my grays, I gotta excuse Bella, cause she just, she just gonna bark. She don't care. She just gonna bark. I can't stop it. Um, so, what I do with my grays. Y'all know when I first came out with something to do with my grays, I had this Cover Your Gray. It's like a mascara brush. It works now, but it don't work like this. So, this is a no. This is a no. This is a yes. And this is, or it's just right here is, uh, it's cream of nature with Orion oil from Morocco, perfect edges in black. And I've been trying to find it in like a brown, but for some reason they're like sold out of brown. I think I'm gonna go by Walmart and see if they have the brown now. They have brown, dark brown, and black on Amazon, but the brown and the dark brown on Amazon is sold out. They don't have them. So this is a black and hey, I make it work. You can use your toothbrush, old toothbrush, to you know get those edges down or you can just use your fingers, okay? Because I use my fingers. Now, you know, after I had my locks installed, eight weeks later, I put dye in my hair. And this was a dye I used right here, you guys. This was a dye. This right here is Clairol Natural Instincts No Ammonia. And um, this was a dark red. It's only $2.99 at Ollie. So this is what I put in my hair right here. Right here. And as you can see, you know, my gray is coming out. And this right here is not a permanent dye because it, you know, it it, blend, it blends away grays and it, it lasts about 28 washes. And y'all know I have not washed my hair no 28 times. But yeah, it don't stay in your hair long. So I got this right here. And this right here is by Revlon. And it was just $2.99 at Ollie's. And it says um, burgundy. And it is 100% great coverage, long lasting color vibrancy. And this says permanent color. Mm. Like I said, and it says clean plus vegan nourishing cream formula. Uh, no minerals, no parabens, no sulfates, no silicones, no gluten, no, uh, what's that? Fulatates and zero ammonia. So, between these two, I'll do something like maybe the first of the year. I have not decided if I'm even going to do this yet because I'm always on YouTube looking for stuff about my hair. Especially because I got these locks, y'all. And I found a lady that has locks and this is what she uses for her grays. It is unsulfured black strap molasses. And she said she uses a tablespoon of this in her... Uh, tea at night and what I do is I put like about two tablespoons of tea I put two Let me get it right. I put two tablespoons of this in my tea at night. I even start Frank on it too y'all So yeah, and it is uh, I've been taking this now mm, For not quite a week not quite a week, so I'll let y'all know uh, I'll let y'all know more about that um but yeah, that has excellent uh, health benefits. It's supposed to uh, be good for your hair, which means um, the people that have been using it for their hair use it to naturally uh, get rid of your grays. And they've been saying testimonials that they've been getting rid of their grays. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if it's going to get rid of my grays, y'all. But in the meanwhile, we got this. Cause you know I got you know grays like all throughout my hair, but I don't care about that. I just you know focus on my edges. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take my little about this much right here, and I just work it on my edges. Mm -hmm. I'll pull you guys closer, if, cause you know I can't really see that good. Especially I don't have my glasses on either, but I have loss of vision in my right eye, so. And that's this eye right here, y'all. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on here. I just put a little bit. This right here is gonna probably last me like forever. Um, yes. 
So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna show y'all, you know, the little style I may do for my hair. <sighs> so and if you wanted to brush your 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 hair, you can do it like this. Uh, and this right here is very lightweight. I mean look, I haven't even wiped my hands off with it. It's not even greasy, it doesn't flake. I mean it's I mean it's it's like I never even touched it. It's like I never even touched it. So now what I'm gonna do now is I just take my hands through my hair. Oh, I know what I gotta show y'all. I gotta show y'all where I connected my um where I combined two of my locks. Now y'all. I just gotta find them now. <laughs> do y'all wanna know y'all wanna know where? And two, when you're running your hand through your hair, my husband's like, you always running your hands through your hair. Just keep your hands out your hair. Y'all, when y'all get locks, sister locks, micro locks, braid locks, um, dreadlocks, glory locks, whatever kind of locks you get, you're gonna want to put your hand in your hair. I, I just, I mean, I just love how my hand, how my hair feels. It's, I, I know it's locking. My daughter told me, tell me it's locking too. So I'm just excited for the journey. And um, I get so many compliments about my hair. I don't care about the length because I'm not in it for the length. As soon as it gets to a certain length that I don't want it, it's guess what? It's getting whoop. And I'm still debating too if I want to do the big chop in the back, uh, which is the um, getting an undercut because I still have that, my daughter braiding it up that one section in my back. I still have her braiding that one section up only because. You know, when they were every time I was going to get my restart, my my re my re uh, tightening, it was always having to be restarted again. So yeah, I said so. Just leave it because if I decide to get the undercut and have it just shaved back there, then no problem. But if I but if my hair is growing like it's growing now, I will more likely have them go ahead and start the install. I just don't want them to start it to do the install and then like come back four or five weeks later and then you gotta reestablish them again, your hair, you know, cause when you lock it's, it's gone and it's not there anymore. Like where'd you go? I love for lock. That's why I start with my edges. Cause I'm like, your edges and your, and your, and your perimeter, really, I don't think God meant for that stuff to be, you know, snatched up. You know what I mean? I really don't because you gotta have a border, right? You don't want to, want to run over the border. You gotta have a border. You gotta have a boundary. That's why it's called edges and perimeter. Some things just not meant to be, you know, locked up or touched. Okay. So anyway, we'll see. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely. I don't care how long my edges grow. I'm definitely not going to have these locked up. Only, only ones that I would even consider locking up at this point is my hair in the back. That's got the about two rows. That um, I, she I have like just single braided till it's till it grows enough for her to go ahead and just lock it up. So we'll see about that. But now let me just see if I can find. Let me see if I can find the um rubber band because I rub rubber I rubber band both of them at the root. I think this is it right here. That. Let me see. I think this one is it. Okay. All right. Yeah, this one is it. Okay, y'all found it. Let's see how close I can get to y'all. All right, this right. Pull it up a little bit, y'all. Pull it up a little bit. All right, this is the one I combined, y'all. Y'all probably may even still see the rubber band. I hope y'all can see it. Mm -hmm. Right here. And I kept the rubber band on there. See that? I hope y'all can see that. I hope y'all can see it. I kept the rubber band on it. But yeah. I could bind that lock. Yay! Okay. Now let me find the other one. That's step one. I think they're both on the same side. Oh, bring it back down. Yeah, I think they're both on the same side. Um, 
But yeah, that was one that I combined. I'm like, oh, I did it. Yay. I just gotta find the other one. Huh. Huh. Is this it right here? Let's see. I think this one's it. Because they're both on the same side. All right. So here's this one. I hope that's not the same one I had. <laughs> it might be the same one. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. See that? Yeah. So, yeah. What y'all think? What y'all think? And it's like, let me tell y'all a little bit something about me. My hair ain't got to be perfect. I know with the whole sister lock thing, it's like, you know, your hair got to have this grid, which my hair still has a grid. It's got to be perfect. It's got to be this. It's got to be that. But I'm like, you know what? It's my hair. Everybody's hair is different. Everybody's journey is different. I'm 53 years old. I don't care if my hair does not look pristine. It looks good to me, and that's the way I like it. My daughter's maintaining my, my interlocking. Thank God, because I couldn't do it. But I just want you guys to know that it is just a thrill for me to be able to be pretty much for myself maintenance for y'all. I've been, uh, I, I'm telling you, I used to watch these people videos about their hair. And I'm like, how do you know about that piece of hair? It's like, literally, I know about every piece of hair on my head now that I have these locks, okay? And it's like, but before I had it and I was watching, like, how do you know? How do you know that about their hair? How do they know that hair is thinning? How do they know that hair is this? It's because we keep our hands in our hair and we have a connection and a bond to our hair, you know? Yeah, we have a connection and a bond to our hair. Now, let me show y'all, I, I think I showed y'all before. Um, oh, um, I got my retwist, not my retwist, Lord have mercy, my retightening. I think my daughter has me on a four point rotation, but my, rot my um, retightening, is scheduled to be done on the 19th of November, um, which is like the weekend before Thanksgiving. Because, you know, we ain't got, we don't be doing no retightening on no Thanksgiving. You know, we did a retightening. It was so crazy because we did a retightening. Well, not really retightening. My, my locks was installed on the um, mm, 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 Mother's Day weekend. And then one of my retightenings that my daughter did was like on the 4th of July weekend. So this street tightening is not gonna be on Thanksgiving weekend. Oh, yeah, not gonna happen. So hopefully it'll be the 18th, and I'll watch no, the 19th. I'll watch my hair on the 18th and get it ready for. Them. But yeah, um, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. I want to show y'all. Let me just show y'all a little bit of my hair. You know, it is it is curly because I just took the raws out, so I'm not gonna be able to really scan through like I really, really wanted to do. But um, I'm gonna stand up and I'm just gonna let y'all, um, let me turn this light off. In the hall. Yeah, that's better. All right, let me just um, do this. All right, do y'all do need this light? Let me see. All right, maybe we can turn it the other way, a little bit this way, I don't want too much light. All right, but I may need that light, so we'll leave it like that. All right, let me just show y'all my hair. See all that gray, y'all? Y'all see all that gray? Y'all see that gray? And that's a lot of new growth, too, in there, too. It's a lot of new growth, but it's a lot of gray. That's a lot of gray. It's a lot of gray, y'all. <laughs> but that's okay, because all I'll be concerned about the front. Okay, so let me see if I can show y'all what I got going on in my hair. Now, if y'all been following my journey from the beginning, you remember how my hair was so thin and scalpy. Now, do y'all see how my hair is just filling in and my hair is thickening up, even all the locks, just thickening. See this right Braided up because it keeps coming loose. So 
So yeah, we're gonna keep that there until I decide if I wanna undercut or have her reinstall them. Yeah, so I'm just like, oh, let me show y'all this one piece. Of, I don't know if y'all saw it. Let me show you this one piece of my hair that um, it's like, I think it's completely, completely, completely locked. Let me see if I can find it. Cause I tell y'all, we be knowing about the locks. It might be real. Let me see. Huh? I can't find it now, but it's up in here. I got these little curls in my hair now, so I can't really, uh, can't really see it. But it was one, it's one in here. It's like, uh, when my hair is um, not curled up, and then the and the hair is falling, there is one that is. I think I see it. I think 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 I see it. This is it right here, y'all. This piece of hair right here. This right here, I think it is totally locked. And this is one of my edge from my size. But look at that. See that? See that? Okay, right there. that I actually think that's gonna be the first one to be completely locked yep that's my favorite one it's my friend y'all it's my favorite one she's a beast <laughs> she's a survivor mm -mm 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 -mm. don't forget subscribe become part of my oh yeah baby yeah become a part of my oh yeah baby and I'm thanking you guys in advance for subscribing. I'm thanking you guys in advance for liking. I'm thanking you guys in advance for commenting below. And I'm thanking you guys for sharing, sharing, sharing in advance. Yeah. If you know somebody that's my age, 53 years old, and they're going through their lock journey, send them my way. Cause I'm pretty sure I've been their way. Mm -hmm. So bye. I am enjoying my locks. I'm enjoying my hair. So in all the stuff that I've showed you guys, make sure I didn't miss anything. And I didn't miss anything. So everything that I've showed you guys, this is my routine, um, day routine, night routine. And if you guys start that unsulfured black strap, Molasses, make sure you get the unsulfured, 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 okay? And that's it. To the next video. To the next video. To the next video. Bye. What's up, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Shala and Frank. Come on over and check out our channel, Promo SDK Reality TV, husband and wife, where we eat good in the neighborhood. We're a mukbang eating show, cooking and recipes, especially soul food, pranks on Frank. Oh, y'all go check it out challenges, vlogs, comedy skits, short videos, 
and TikTok. So come on and become our oh yeah baby today. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, promo SDK, promo SDK. Or you can also go to any of our social sites and find us under promo STK. Oh yeah, baby. We can't wait to see you. We can't wait to meet you. So come on over.